Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy Friday, fam bam. Happy Friday, <laughs> or whatever day it is where you are. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day today. Guys, I am coming with a word that God would like for me to release today. As always, please remember any word that I give you or any other servant of God gives you, please take each and every one of these words back to God in prayer for confirmation. Always take it back to God for confirmation and test the spirit. And that's also your opportunity to get more revelation in your prayer time from God regarding that word as well. All right. Also, I want to encourage, as always, that you develop your own intimate relationship with God over any and everything else. God desires you and I, okay? That's what's most important to God. So make sure you're taking the time to develop a relationship with him, getting to recognize the voice of God for yourselves and really making him priority. And don't get so caught up also with uh, listening you know, and engaging into so many prophetic words until you drown out the voice of God. His voice is priority over any and everything else, okay? So make sure that you're taking the time. God desires that from you and I, and I'm going to continue to encourage it, okay? So guys, this word uh, is not for every person, but this is a word that we are we, we all can take something from, okay? Remember, we're all in different seasons, so not every prophetic word is for every person. And if God has been speaking this to you, then it's for you, okay? But again, this is a word that we all can take something from, all right? So guys, uh, it is two parts to this word, okay? The first part are for the people who are walking in their uh, uh, God-given assignment in this moment. Guys, God is stating to embrace the mantle that he has given you and not to shrink back from your calling because of persecution, acceptance, or slander from others. Keep moving forward and focus on him and not the opinions of others. God was stating, guys, in prayer, and this is again for the people who are in their calling, whatever that may be in the body of Christ that God has called you to, okay, whatever office. We have to remember no, no matter what office that God calls us into uh, in the body of Christ, whether that's prophecy or uh, teaching, preaching, there is a level of persecution and warfare that comes with that. It is going to happen. Not that it's, it, it might, it will happen. It will happen, guys. And God was stating that whatever that mantle is, continue to walk into it and do not walk away um, because the opinions of others don't give up because of other people don't give up because the warfare, you know, because of the warfare against the kingdom of darkness, the warfare against other people. Remember, uh, you know, there is a level of persecution, slander, warfare that comes with it. It's not easy. I have, woo, I have, you know, told you plenty of times that I have just turned in my resignation and like, I can't do this. And it was hard for me to get on here anyway. And it's still to this day where I'm like, God, I don't think I want to keep doing this, <laughs> you know, but because you know, my love for God and wanting to be obedient and understanding that I was called here uh, to use the gift that God has given me for a time such as this. And we have to push forward. And it's going to be times when we're, we're going to want to give up. That's, that's just, you know, that's the inevitable. We're going to want to give up sometimes. We're going to want to walk away sometimes. Not necessarily from God, but the calling. It's not easy. And God is saying, stay focused on him. Remember, if we draw nigh to God, he draws nigh to us. He's our strength when we're weak. So if we need strengthening, we need to be able to have, you know, hey, God, I need help me to persevere. You know, and as many of times where I have prayed those 
I, I, many of times I have prayed those prayers to be strong, to persevere, to keep going because they, it will be a level of persecution. And God is saying, guys, don't shrink back. People are depending on you and I to walk into our gifts. People are depending on, on, uh, us, you know, to teach them about the word of God. And I am here as your sister in Christ, just to encourage you. Uh, to let you know, don't give up. I understand. I understand that it is hard sometimes. People are going to talk about you. They're going to call you everything but a child of God. They're going to find everything. People tend to favor people over truth. People tend to find favor, you know, they're favored in people um, over the, tr the truth. They will always favor people over truth. Unfortunately, some people will. And everybody won't like you and I. Not everybody is uh, won't like your word. Not everybody won't like your ministry. That, that comes with it. Not everybody is, you know, you're not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And that comes with it. And it's okay. It's okay. And God is saying to keep going to press forward and we have to remember no one no one is consistent and never change but God God is the only person that remains the same people man are fickle they will rock with you today and they will hate you tomorrow people are very fickle and we can't get caught up in who you know, uh, who likes us or who don't like us. Some people just don't like you because they just don't like you. They don't even have a reason. But that, unfortunately, that is how it is. And God is saying to keep going and has called me here to encourage you today to keep going and to press forward. You know, we have to keep going. There are people depending on us to bring, you know, to, to bring them closer to, to, uh, to God. There are people that God is depending, you know, God is depending on us to build his kingdom. So, you know, I know I'm not saying, I, you know, my story, I have resigned many of times, but I hang in there, you know, I hang in there because I want to do what God has called me to do. I want to be obedient. I want to love. But no, it's not easy. And actually, I'll share something with you. You know, I'll share something with you really quickly. But, um, you know, I'm very, I'm very transparent because I feel like it can encourage somebody else. So I'm very, I'm very transparent about certain things um, that can help other people. And one of the things when I left uh, to take a break from the channel, my first week, woo, my first week, let me tell you, the warfare was turned up times a thousand. <laughs> the type of warfare and distractions, everything that can come against me spending time the, with God the way that I wanted to, which I did, but I had to fight. It was very frustrating. It was times that I said in that week, God, look, you know, I, I, I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going back. Or, you know, I just, it was just so much warfare and it was a lot. And then I'm already going through a lot on top of that. And, you know, it was, it, it was just very hard. And it was so, you know, it was so much warfare. And I remember um, washing the, uh, I remember washing uh, the dishes during that time. And I just had a moment where just tears rolling, just crying and, and just had a moment in my, in my mind. And, you know, I had a conversation with God and, you know, we have a relationship and you don't have to do the thous and the thes and all of that in prayer. You just talk to God. Just just talk to him like I'm talking to you. And, and it's still sovereign. Just talk to God like I'm talking to you. And I was washing the dishes and, you know, I asked God, I say, you know, why did you choose me? You know what I go through medically. And I've shared my testimony about cancer with you guys. And I was like, why do you, 
without questioning God, but asking a question. Why did you choose me? You know my medical condition. You know that I can't be stressed. You know that I can't be overwhelmed. You know that affects my body. Why would you choose me to do this? And one of the first, the only thing, not the first thing, <laughs> but the only thing he said was, I graced you for it. That's it. It wasn't no continuous conversation. It wasn't nothing else. And I'm like, <laughs> what else? What else? That's it. No, what, <laughs> what else? <laughs> but that was it. I graced you for it. Meaning I graced you to handle it. I graced you. I know your beginning. I know your ending before the beginning. I know what you can handle. But I know who I am. I know who I am in you. And if I called you to do it, or I called you to it, I'll help you get through it. And I, you know, and I was still crying. <laughs> like, oh, my God. But, you know, it was just, he's God. And that was the answer is I graced you for it. That's it. That's all I have to say to you. I got you. You're, you're going to be able to do this because I am going to enable and help you to do it. So that is my encouragement to you to keep going because there is that week was so for that first week was so much warfare, but I got through it and God gave me the peace. <laughs> Lord, God gave me the peace that surpasses all understanding after that. He took away the heaviness. He took away the burden. He took away every distraction of the enemy, every fiery dart of the enemy. And he gave me a peace like no other. And I've been on cloud nine since. He gave me a peace and he took that. My tears, he wiped them. He, he strengthened me through it. He know that he, God already knows that the, these, these things are going to be hard. He already know that we're going to go through persecution. He already know what we're going to go through, but he's our helpmate. God is our helper and he, the Holy Spirit helps us to get through it. One of the scriptures of guys, the, one of the scriptures that I'm going to, the first scripture I'm going to read from the NLT version, and then the rest of them will be from the NIV version, okay? Um, the first one is John 15, 18. It reads, if the world hates you, remember that it hated me first. The world would love you as one of its own if you belong to it, but you are no longer part of the world. I chose you to come out of the world. So it hates you. Do you remember what I told you? A slave is not greater than its master. Since they persecuted me, naturally they will persecute you. We are going to go through some things and we are going to have to, to, to have tough skin and just get through it because it comes with it. And it's, you know, and it gets easier. At first, you know, I, I shared that it, it, that first year was hard for me. I would say the first nine months or 10 months was hard for me. It was like, okay, God, <laughs> um, okay, I, I, I'm trying here, but you know, about when it's not to, to respond to people's, you know, feet, people's disrespect. But the more you just realize, the more you, you, you continue to do it, you realize people are going to be people. People are fickle. People are opinionated. People have, you know, just some people are not going to um, accept you and I. Not every person is going to accept the ministry. That's just how people are. We can't please everybody. Um, the next one is Matthew 5, 11 from the NIV version. It says, blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. 
what we suffer here, we will reign and, and have the and gain the reward in heaven. So yeah, we may have to suffer a while here and we may have to go through the persecution, through the slander, the lies, whatever, but our reward is stored up in heaven for us. God says rejoice and be glad because of the great because great is your reward in heaven. But also in John 14, 26, it reads, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things. He will teach you all things. Okay? So, and remind you of everything I have said to you. He'll teach us. The advocate, the Holy Spirit, nothing that I do, you do, that God has called us to do, are we doing on our, on our own? We are just vessels. We are just servants that has been simply called to do what God has called us to do. But we have a helper who helps us to do it, who helps us and enables us to do what he's called us to do, to use that gift. The second, um, the second... Uh, part of it is for the people that God was st stating that this is for the people who have he have called you to start whatever he has called you to start God is saying move forward God is stating that some of you who have not uh, walked into what he has asked you to do whether that's ministry whether that's starting a business whether that's whatever god has asked you to do god is stating to move forward so if god has been telling you and this is something in your quiet place and the secret place in prayer god is uh, really been telling you you know to start that channel to start that ministry to start that church to start volunteering at this place or start this nonprofit. Whatever it is that God has asked you to do, God says move forward. Move forward. He stated that some of you are not moving forward out of fear of seceding, not out of fear of failure, I'm sorry, and people's opinion. And don't allow fear of people or failure to keep you from being obedient. Um... We all guys, you know, we all have to work out our own salvation and that, you know, we can't, we're judged. I'm judged for what I do or I don't do. I'm judged for using my gift or not using my gift. And you're, you know, if I don't use my gifts, you're not judged. I am. So we each have to work out our own salvation and we really have to be mindful if God has asked you to start a ministry or he's asked you to do something, God will equip, equip you to do it. And there's, you know, no need to fear people's opinions. Oh, pe people are going to be people. Some people are just not going to accept, accept you. So continue to you know, continue to keep moving forward and be obedient because still, uh, you know, procrastination and, and uh, you know, moving in our own time, that is still disobedient. Delayed obedience is still disobedience. So we have to move. And it's not easy. I get it. I know it's not easy to start this or start that, but God will, if he called you to it, he'll call, he'll get you through it. Okay. And he was staying to don't allow fear of failure or people to keep you from moving in obedience to what he has called you to do. If God says, start this channel or start this ministry or start this nonprofit, do what God has asked you in prayer to do. Okay, move in, in, in obedience and know that he will help you to do what he has called you to do. We are all helped. I'm not, I can't do this by myself and I'm not even going to try. I, it's by the spirit of God. It's by the Holy Spirit that helps each and every one of us. Okay, so if God has asked you to do something, do it. Walk into that. Um, he led me to... First Peter 4.10, it reads, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards 
of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do it as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things, God may be praised through Jesus Christ. God gets the glory, guys, when we do what we're supposed to do, when we discipleship and be, you know, be disciples and ambassadors for Christ, which all of us are, God gets the glory for that. And we build his kingdom. We bring others to get to know him, to get to experience him. And God do not want us to sit idle. There are so many unused gifts and purposes in uh, cemeteries. It's a lot of people who did not, you know, they did not do, they just didn't do use their gifts. They just didn't use their gifts. They just didn't do their purpose. And if you have a chance to do it, do what God has called you to do. God is saying, walk into it. You're able to walk into it. You're able to do, you know, to do it because of him. So don't shrink back because of other people. People are always going to, you know, people are, are going to be people. <laughs> people are going to be people. And it, it comes with the territory. And so do, you know, so do the warfare. So guys, I am here really, you know, God wanted me to speak about, you know, to continue to tell you, you know, if you have a ministry, if you have, if you have what, whatever uh, teaching or, or whatever mantle God has given you God, and, and you're in it, God says, keep going. And I'm here to encourage you not to give up, to keep moving forward. And if you haven't started a ministry and God has asked you, I'm here to encourage you to walk into it boldly, boldly, with courage, with courage, okay, and bold. It all glorifies God. It's all for the glorifying of God, okay? God really don't want us to sit on our, our gifts, but to use them to serve others and glorify him. All right. So guys, that is it. I just wanted to come and encourage you uh, today. God was really speaking about it a lot uh, in prayer. And I just wanted to come and just encourage you to keep going. I know it's not easy. Um, you know, <laughs> the warfare is real. But, you know, um, that comes with it. All right. Okay. So guys, that is it today. Okay, just take the word back to God in prayer and sit with him. Uh, and just talk to him about it and confirm the word. And just, you know, if you need God to encourage you and you need to just, hey God, can you help me, you know, to walk into whatever it is that you have called me to do without fear and give me peace and comfort about it and boldness. And he will, he will. So guys, that is it. Keep shining. <laughs> Keep being the light because you are the light. Keep being kind, compassionate, and loving towards one another. Don't conform to this world or the wicked agendas of it. Continue to walk. Let's continue to walk in unity, guys, and do not allow them to divide us, all right? Let's keep loving each other, being kind to one another. Remember, we're all going through something. It may not look the same for each and every one of us, but we're all going through something. So just be patient with one another and kind, okay? It don't cost a thing to, to, to be kind and show love, okay? So that is it. I want to thank every person who have sown into the ministry. I pray that God blesses your seed a hundredfold. I also, I'm sorry guys about the, oh, he's screaming a lot. I'm sorry about the, uh, the, the, uh, child is screaming <laughs> outside. He's outside playing. Um, uh, but, um, you know, I, I thank each and every one of you who have sown into the ministry. I all pray that God blesses your seed a hundredfold. Okay. And, uh, I just thank each and every one of you. I pray that, um, 
You guys have a good and a safe weekend, okay? Know that God loves you unconditionally. I love you. And until next time, God willing, we'll talk again, all right? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.